Praise the Lord, people of God. This is Angela Shelley with Pray to Win. Today, I am excited. If you can't hear it in my voice, I am excited about this prayer because we are going to pray from a place knowing that we have a God. And so the Holy Spirit began to ask me the question, what does it mean to have a God? And as I began to reflect on what it meant for Elijah to have a God, for Moses to have a God, for David to have a God, for for Daniel to have a God, for, for Peter and for Paul to have a God, it meant that they knew because of relationship and awareness of the presence and the power of the Ancient of Days that was present in their lives, that they knew that whatever they needed, they had a God that could provide everything in every way. Glory to God. We serve Yahweh. We serve the name that is above every name, the power that is above all powers, the King of glory, the Lord God who was in the beginning, the same God that created all things by him. Everything was made that was made and there was nothing made without him. That is our God. We have a God. We have a God that we can count on. We have a God that we can depend on. We have a God that sees. We have a God whose ears is active and alert and attuned into our cry and our prayer. We have a God. Amen. Glory to God. I was reminded during service on Sunday as we begin to pray and to worship and I'll share this quick testimony and I usually go straight into the prayer but I'm going to share this quick testimony. Our bass player came into the service and he was very sick. He was throwing up and you know just just having to rush to the bathroom but he had determined in his heart that the enemy was not going to keep him from making his way into the house of God and knowing that in the presence of God is everything that we need. There's healing in his wings. He knew if he could just make it to the house of God, that regardless of what happened, he was not going to let the enemy keep him from his assignment. Amen. So as we began service and he let pastor know what was going on, but as soon as service began, we deviated from the normal chain of events and pastor just immediately went in and began to pray for our bass player. He prayed and it stopped service and the entire body of Christ began to pray with him and we just began to put a demand on the word of God for God to be exactly who he said he was and to do exactly what he said he would do. And Pastor just began to lead us into a place of worship and praise and calling out for God. And he said, we're not going to leave from this place until God moves. We're not going to leave from this place until the sickness responds. We're not going to leave from this place until, until he's well. When we prayed for him, we knew that we were going to witness a sign of wonder take place. We knew it. And so we began to press in, glory to God. And I don't know how much time passed. The next thing I know, I look up at my husband, the pastor, and he pointed me over to the bass player to look. And so I looked, he gave me the thumbs up and he could just tell his countenance had changed. Like, And he began to play. We immediately knew that healing had taken place and he was never sick again. I mean, he, he, we ended up not leaving church till seven o'clock that night. All was well. He was laughing, joking, just f- full of energy, just completely fine. So glory to God. So I say that to encourage you to say this, that when we pray, we pray from the place of knowing that we have a God and that he responds to our prayers. Glory to God. He responds to our prayers. I was reminded on Sunday as we were worshiping and praising that the scripture says that those that are not of this faith. They carry their gods around in their pocket. They carry these little idols that are made with hands for that man put together. And they can't do anything. They can't respond. And I was also reminded about Elijah when he came against the, the, the prophets of Baal. And he said, maybe maybe your God is, is gone hard of hearing. Maybe you need to pray a little louder. He began to mock them. Glory to God. Because he knew if the power above our powers would not allow them, their, their, their demon gods to respond, they couldn't do a thing. Amen. And sure enough, you know the story. If you don't know the story, Elijah said, water my altar down. Pour water on it. Glory to God. And he called down fire from heaven. And in that moment, God immediately responded. We pray, we worship, we adore, and we pray to the God who responds by fire. Amen. Glory to God. So I just want to share that. And, and as we go into this prayer, I'm tickled because I don't even know what it is I'm going to pray about. But I just am excited because I know that as we go into this prayer, we are praying by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to share this one more nugget. When we pray in the Holy Spirit, when we pray by the Spirit of the living God, picture this. The Holy Spirit who is God. Praying to the Father who is God. And you're just a vessel. And so it is God himself 
praying through you to God himself. Glory to God. You know that prayer is going to work. Amen. So let's go before the Lord in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you so much for the people that are gathered together under the sound of my voice on today. Father, we lift up before you. We come before you with hearts full of praise. We come before you with hearts full of thanksgiving because we know, Lord God, we know that you are the God who hears. And if you hear, we know that you're doing something about it. You are El Rohi, the God who sees. If we know that you see, Father, we know that you are God. Your character is to respond. So, Father, we thank you that you are already responding to this prayer. Holy Spirit, I thank you that you are so welcome. I ask that every word that I speak be uttered by the utterance of the Holy Spirit. I ask that it be uttered by you. Lord Jesus, we reverence you. We bow before you for you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And we are confident and we know that you are the God who says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That no man comes unto the Father except through you. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you have given us access by your death, burial, and resurrection. You have given us access into the very throne room of God. So Father, it is in the name and by the blood of your Son, Jesus, that we come before you. Ah, but we come before you to say thank you. Thank you that we have a God. Thank you that we have a God who responds. We thank you that you have chosen us before the foundation of the world that we should walk in your ordinances and your counsel. Father, we thank you that you have called us. You have sealed us with your precious Holy Spirit. So, Father, we thank you, Lord God, that today Lord, we continue to press in and we know that you're moving. Father, we thank you that we lift up our children before you. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that as we lift them up before you, Father, that you will move in their lives in a very powerful and a very tangible and a very mighty way. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that, that the forces of hell cannot prevail against what you're doing. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you are moving. You're moving mountains. You're, you're performing miracles. You're performing signs and wonders. Father, your word says that our work is to believe. So, Father, we believe. We believe we will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Father. We lift up specific situations. We lift up the children that are dealing with anxiety. We lift up the children that are dealing with addiction. We lift up the children that are dealing with sexual perversion. We lift up the children that are dealing with identity crisis. Father, we lift up the children that are dealing with learning disabilities. Father, we lift up the children that are dealing with fear and torment that are tormented in their minds. Father, that that might be surrounded by unwise counsel. Father, we ask that you clarify things. Father, we ask that you would clarify things. That you would straighten up the crooked path that you would put them on the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Father, we ask that you would do it for your glory, that they will be a sign and a wonder, that they will be a testament of the will and the work of God in the earth. Father, you said that in the last days, Lord God, that darkness would, would grow and grow, Lord God, but you also said that the light would become more and more evident, Father. So we are looking, Lord God, we are looking to see a witness of your light. Father, we speak for life and light in their lives. Father, we command anxiety to cease and desist. Father, we ask that you go to the root of the issue. Father, we expose fear and we torment and we rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask, oh God, that you would you would strengthen us in our inner man by the Holy Spirit, that you would give us wisdom and insight, Father, to do spiritual surgery in their lives. We pray for the symptoms, Father, but we also ask that you go to the root cause of those things. Lord God, set them free from every addiction. Set them free from every malice. Set them free from every generational bloodline curse. Set them free from the past trauma. Set them free, Lord God. You are a God of deliverance and I ask and I pray Lord God that you would perform a miracle sign and wonder into those people's lives that, that every person under the sound of my voice that is believing you for a miracle father I believe that this year is the year of miracle signs and wonders that this year we will see a manifestation of your glory so father we lift up those that are in darkness and we call them out we snatch them out of darkness right now in the name of Jesus and Lord Jesus you are the light you for the word says that you are the life and the light of men so, Lord Jesus, I ask, Lord God, that you would you would shine your light into the dark places because there is no ditch too deep. There is no hole too, too dark. Father, there, there's no place that you can't reach. So we snatch them out. We stand in our place of authority in the name of Jesus Christ, not because of our own doing, but because we are representatives of you, Lord Jesus. And you said in your word that as we represent you, Jesus, as we abide in you and your word abides in us, that we can ask whatever we will because our will aligns with yours. Lord God, we know that your will is that none should perish, that all should come into repentance and to the knowledge of who you are. So we speak over our families and we say that 
there shall not be one loss. There shall not be one loss. In the name of Jesus, there shall not be one loss. In the name of Jesus, we call them out. We call them out of addiction. We call them out of drug addiction. We call them out of bad relationships. We call them out of homosexuality. We call them out of the new age practices. We call them out of dark places. We call them out of anxiety. We call them out of worry. We call them out of stress. We call them out of deception. We call them out of perversion, Father. We call them out. And we call them, Lord God, to be in a safe place in you. For your word says that he who abides in the secret place of the Most High, he shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no foe can withstand. And we will say of the Lord, the Lord is my refuge, my rock, my shield, my fortress, in whom I lean and rely and in whom I confidently trust. Father, we worship you because we confidently trust in you. You are a faithful God and you've never failed us. Father, even when it looked like you weren't working, you were working. Even when it doesn't look, it doesn't feel like you're working, you're working. Even when it doesn't feel like you're moving, you're moving. Father, even when it looks like you weren't there, you were there. Even when it looks like you're absent, you're not. For your word is the truth. And let every man be a lie. Let our emotions be a lie. We don't go by what we feel like. We don't go by what we perceive through our natural eyes. Father, we go according to the word of God that says, You have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. So, Father, we thank you that you are a God who can, who will, who must. Hear our prayer and respond by fire. So we worship you in spirit and in truth. Because you are God of the living. And Father, we thank you, Lord God. Just like you asked the prophet Ezekiel, you said, can these dry bones live? And Father, we speak to every dead situation, every place where we might have even lost hope. And we say, Lord God, you know. And Father, you told Ezekiel, speak to the breath. Prophesy to the breath. So we prophesy to the breath that these dead bones shall live. And behold, we see an exceeding great army. Father, we thank you that in this generation we see an exceeding great army. The enemy's work will not work. His plans will not prevail. For the prayer of the fervent, effectual prayer of the righteous availeth much. And so, Father, we we stand on our post. And we declare in the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus over this generation, the blood of Jesus over their minds, the blood of Jesus over their hearts, the blood of Jesus over their souls. And we declare we will see an exceeding vast army to the glory of God who is celebrated in the sun. Thank you, Father. We give you praise, honor, and glory. And we won't move from this place of faith until we see the manifestation of what we're believing you for. And we know, Lord God, We don't know how you're going to manifest your glory, Jesus, but we're confident that you will. And we give you all the praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. If you agree with me, send an emoji. Send me an emoji and let me know that you're believing with me. Type amen. Leave a comment. Glory to God. And we will witness and see the manifestation of the goodness of God. Amen. If we can win the home, we can win the nation. And if we can win the nation, we can win the world. Because we don't just pray. We pray to win. I'll see you in the next video.